Today we will show you how to test and repair Citizen CH650, wrist type digital blood pressure monitor. Before everything, we should make sure that we are using proper and powerful alkaline batteries, because many machine failures are caused by weak batteries. We insert the batteries with the same directions which is showed inside the battery place on the machine. Then we put the machine around our wrist and try to measure the blood pressure in order to test the machine. Now, we can see that the machine starts inflating, but while doing the inflation it gets stuck and shows the error too. In this case, the machine is having a problem in the motor, or in the air supply port. So we should open the machine. To open the machine and repair we need a small Phillips type screwdriver and a forceps. We open the seal covering the screw. Then we turn the screws clockwise and remove the batteries as well. With a slight pressure of the finger we pull the body to release the internal clips, then the outer cover will get separated. There is one screw on the board down the LCD screen of the machine, we should open that screw. To keep the machine stable, and easy to work on it, we should open the cuff. We should let the machine sit on the cuff because the major pressure is on the bottom side around the cuff. If the cuff is closed the machine may roll around during our repair work. We should lift the LCD screen and hold it with the finger. We should be careful that the very thin connection of the LCD doesn't get damaged. Then, with the forceps, we try to remove the motor. First we disconnect the air pipe from the motor, and place the motor as shown. Then, we disconnect the power wires. On the new motor, as you can see, there is a positive pole clearly shown on the motor. The red wire should connect to it, and the black wire to be connected to the other pole. Just be careful not to overheat the motor poles while soldering, this may damage the motor functionality. Then, we put general use glue all around the air supply connection part of the motor. Is important not to put any glue on the hole because it will block the air supply system. Then we connect the pipe to the motor again. And slowly return the LCD screen to its place. Now we have two size screws. The thinner screw is for the part connecting the LCD to the main board. Tie this screw. Then, before closing the machine, we will proceed to test the machine to check if it is fixed, and if it is working properly. As you can see, it worked perfectly this time. Now, we close the machine. We should pay attention to the two pins that are on the side, to fix them in its places on the upper part of the machine. Then apply a slight pressure.
Finally, we fix the bigger screw in the hole. Thank you for watching, and please submit your questions to service at island-gate.com.